okay now let's learn a methodology to do the previous questions in a much simpler way we call it synthetic division now this is the basic concept now i must say that you may not understand the concept till you do an example just hold on your patience and just uh, keep watching now when you divide a function by a linear function we are doing this for linear functions only actually synthetic division can be applied for other degree functions as well but here in a levels we use this synthetic division as a shortcut method to check our accuracy and uh, for other various purposes so now usually we are applying it for only for linear function division means uh, you are the divider is a linear function so what i'm going to teach you how to divide a polynomial function by a linear function by using this synthetic division so now let's imagine that this uh, divider is ax minus b so now this is the methodology first of all we find the value of x where this ax minus b becomes zero so ax minus b becomes zero when ax minus b becomes zero when x equals b over a so when you equalize this ax minus b to zero so minus b comes here and divide by a so when x equals b over a so this function this ax minus b becomes zero because a a cancels when you substitute x by this b over a and you have b minus b so it is zero so what we do is we write the coefficients of fx here of fx then we divide synthetically what you are going to learn very soon uh, we divide this synthetically by this b over a so this is b over a and when you divide these coefficients in a synthetic manner you learn what i'm talking about uh, by an example just hold your patience so you will get some answers here and this last digit will be our remainder now after that what we do is we have other uh, remaining digits just uh, since the last digit is remainder we don't care it so now these digits we are dividing by a what is this a a is uh, what's the coefficient of this x of this linear divider so the number in front of x a and you will be getting set of new values after dividing we call this quotient now i guarantee you that you don't understand this till we do one example so now quickly let's move on to our first example now this is the same question what we did at the beginning now here we are dividing this same function by this x minus 2 using synthetic division now first of all we have to understand this x minus 2 now previously we consider ax minus b so here ax minus b becomes 0 when x equals uh, b over a so similarly this x minus 2 becomes 0 when x equals 2 when x is 2 only 2 minus 2 this becomes 0 so this is very important so from this number only we are going to divide these coefficients synthetically so now and other thing you have to understand is this a this a here is 1 because no number in front of that means this is 1 so it is a equals 1 now let's see how we can divide this function uh, by this x minus 2 with the help of synthetic division now first of all we draw this kind of a thing then we write the coefficients 
of this function here now coefficient of x cube is 1 and coefficient of plus 3x square is plus 3 and coefficient of uh, minus 2x is minus 2 and here it's 1 now remember if you are missing now here we have all the terms in descending order now 3 x square x x cube x square x x to the power 0 now imagine this 3x square is missing so now you are supposed to write 0 here you should miss any degree so you should complete all the slots by numbers if there's no term it will be 0 don't forget it's very important now after that we write here that number where this whole function becomes 0 it is 2 so we write this 2 and now this is how you divide this uh, function by synthetically first of all this one we just write it here we don't do anything we are just writing it and then what we do is we are multiplying this 2 by this 1 we are multiplying it so it is 2 times 1 which is 2 so what you do is you are adding that 2 to this 3 so 2 plus 3 is 5 then what you do is you multiply this 2 by this 5 so it is 2 times 5 which is 10 so what you do is you write this 10 here and add it then 10 plus minus 2 is 8 then what you do is we are multiplying this 2 by this 8 so which is 2 times 8 is 16 2 times 8 is 16 now you are adding this 16 here so which means plus 17 so as I told previously this last number gives us our remainder so this is remainder 17 now to find the quotient we are supposed to divide this all other digits by a now a here a means 1 so you are dividing this by 1 so what you get is 1 5 divided uh, 1 is 5 then 8 divided 1 is 8 so you get the same thing but remember you must divide so now it is uh, 158 so the last digit is the constant then the next digit is the x term then the third digit after this 8 5 then this third one we call x square so degree goes in ascending order from right to left so this is our quotient so now that's how we are dividing this function by a linear function using synthetic division now let's try another example all right now this is our sixth question but we did the same question as our second question too but we are doing this question in another method which is synthetic division now let's see now this x plus 3 becomes 0 when x equals minus 3 so remember this minus 3 is very important from that only we are dividing this by synthetically so now after that what is a if you remember that ax minus b so a was the number which is which was in front of x so here x plus 3 so what we have as a is 1 that's really important because at the end we are dividing all those coefficients by this a so now let's start with this we write x cubes coefficient 1 then 5x squares coefficient is 5 then minus 6x coefficient is minus 6 then plus 3 now x plus 3 becomes 0 when x equals minus 3 so you are writing minus 3 here then we write this 1 we don't do anything here we are just writing 1 down then you multiply this minus 3 by 1 so minus 3 times 1 is 
minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. So you are writing it now. You are adding this minus 3. So what you get is uh, plus 2. Then you are multiplying this minus 3 by this plus 2. So it is minus 3 times uh, 2 which is minus 6. So we add this minus 6 here. What you get is minus 12. Then you multiply this minus 3 by this uh, minus 12. So minus 3 times minus 12. It is uh, plus 36. So you add this plus 36 here. Then what you get is plus 39. So here uh, the remainder is 39. This is a remainder which is 39 and now these coefficients we are dividing by 1 so because uh, a is 1 so when you divide this by 1 which is a you get 1 2 minus 12 so here this minus 2 and so this is minus 12 so then it is uh, here this is minus 12 and this 2 we write to x then this 1 we write x square so this is our quotient so here we go this is how we synthetically divide a polynomial function by a linear function now let's try another example now this question also we previously did now let's see how to do this question by synthetic division now first of all we have to consider this 2x plus 3 now this 2x plus 3 becomes 0 when x equals minus 3 over 2 when x is minus 3 over 2 this function becomes 0 so this is very important this is what we are using for this synthetic division and a is this 2 a means 2 because a is the coefficient of x so here a equals 2 so now we draw this and we write the coefficients here 4 now do you notice there's no x cube here 4x to the power 4 then straight away 3x square so x cube function is missing so we write 0 because uh, we can't skip that we must write 0 there so then x squares coefficient is uh, minus 3 then x coefficient is 1 then the number 2 as the constant so this is the number we are writing in that corner so which is minus 3 over 2 so then we write this 4 just it is 4 then you multiply this minus 3 over 2 by this 4 so it is uh, 4 times minus 3 over 2 which is uh, 2 4 cancels it's uh, minus 6 so then you add this minus 6 here so you get minus 6 then you multiply minus 3 over 2 by this minus 6 so it is uh, minus 3 over 2 times minus 6 which you get plus 9 so you are adding this plus 9 here now when you add it it is plus 6 then you multiply 6 by this minus 3 over 2 so it is uh, minus 3 over 2 times 6 then it is 3 it is minus 9 so you add this here it is minus 9 you when you add it so it is a uh, minus 8 then you multiply this 3 over 2 by this minus 8 so when you multiply it uh, minus 3 over 2 times uh, minus 8 so it is minus 4 plus 12 we add this plus 12 here so you get plus 14 now you know this is our remainder it's too easy so this is our remainder function and now these numbers are not anything till we divide this by a now what's a here a is 2 
the coefficient in front of x which is 2 so we are, we are dividing these numbers by 2 so what you get is 4 divided by 2 is 2 minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3 6 divided by 2 is 3 minus 8 divided by 2 is minus 4 so this minus 4 is our number and this is 3x and this is minus 3x square and uh, last this 2 is 2x cubed so this is our quotient so now that's how we divide uh, this by synthetic division you can compare the answers with uh, what we got uh, for long division now let's try a last problem which is question number eight all right now this is our last question and i'm not going to do this question i keep it for you but hopefully i'll be discussing this with you one day probably when we meet up in the classroom uh, in the real classroom the online classroom so now uh, question number eight is uh, a bit challenging one so it is uh, minus 3x to the power of 5 plus 4x cubed minus 7x plus 8 divided by minus 5x minus 3 so now this is the question so you must solve this in this both methods from number 1 by long division then row number 2 by synthetic division after finding answers try to put a comment under this video otherwise you can share with me if you're having my whatsapp number so otherwise however uh, once i meet you guys i'll be wanting to know whether you have done this and got the correct answer so see you on next week